Hey guys, look what just arrived. Fresh from Canada Post. Featured on the EEV blog. The 858D Hot Air Rework Station. Yep. There it is. And it even works too. How about that? This is a 110 volt version. It's uh, not the Sake, um, not the A10, but the WEP Up Arrow. Don't know what that's about. I've never heard of this brand before, but like anything from China, I'm assuming it's uh, all the same. Let's check it out and see how it works. Got it plugged in. All right, here we go. Let's see what we have here. Temperature all the way down to a hundred degrees and all the way up to four hundred and eighty. Yep. So we've got our up and down temperature controls, our power on and off switch, and our blower control controls the speed of the blower. We'll crank it up here. And it should work. Once I pull this off, I we should hear it going. Yep, you can hear it going and the temperature is rising. See it get up to 480 here. Pretty quickly climbing and we're there 480 degrees looks it's hot it is stinky too put it back down on and you'll notice the fan stays going but the temperature rapidly decreases because uh, the power to the coil has been cut and the fan decreases to cool it off and you'll see that when we get down to I believe around a hundred it will shut the unit off and uh, the fan will shut off well while that's doing that let's look at some of the accessories it comes with the manual brushless fan. I'm not sure what this is. It uh, looks like a little antenna and there's a piece of wire in there and a screw. I'm assuming it's to hold something, maybe the cable or something. I'll have to look at the pictures online and see if I can figure it out. There you go, you can see it just shut off. Fan's done. Temperature is at minus, minus, minus. An interesting thing to note is if you turn the unit off and you take this off and then turn the unit on it won't actually power up until you reset it and then it'll just power itself back down again here there we go so some of the other things it comes with are three different nozzles. There's a square one, a, a round one, and then another smaller round one inside. So that's great. I was worried it wasn't going to have the nozzles. This is a 110 volt operation like I mentioned and uh, it uh, haven't tried it yet on anything but it seems to be functionally working so I'll uh, give it a go and see what happens. <laughs> 